With her fiery whistle notes, signature squeaks, and amazing stage presence, Morissette has made a name for herself as an OPM giant. But before she achieved this level of fame, who is she? Today we are digging deeper to Morissette's life and discover facts, trivias, and what is really like to be her. Morissette was born in June 2, 1996 in Minglanilia Cebu to Annalyn Aman and Amey Aman. She was born after Alanis Morissette's birthday, her dad's favorite vocalist. Her family is musically inclined, her father is a former local rock vocalist in Cebu Philippines while her mom is a nurse. A little fun fact, the scar near at her right eye brow was originally bitten by her grandmother's dog when she was one year old. At the age of two, Morissette caught by her parents singing a Regine Velasquez song. Her dad sees Morissette a potential in singing so he trained her at her early age. At the age of four, Morissette debuted her first singing competition and she sang, Pretty Boy, by M2M. While studying, she also sang, she performed in school programs for extracurricular activity points. Fun fact, she spent her childhood in the Yatch because her grandpa is a ship captain back in days. At the age of nine, Morissette debuted her first TV competition. She joined Little Big Star Cebu. She sang Christina Aguilera and Alicia Keys songs but she didn't win the contest. Aside from music, Morissette is also a Rubik's Cube geek. She won a school competition when she solved a Rubik's Cube in just 38 seconds during the Science and Math Week in Asian College of Technology Elementary. It's her pastime with her dad and brother aside from singing and riding a motocross bike. In 2006, Morissette joined Sunshine Radio's Survival Challenge where Katrina Velarde is also part of the contest. Morissette lose the competition but she didn't stop singing. In her early years with informal vocal training with her dad, Morissette began to shape by the greatest vocalist alive today she looked up such as Mariah Carey and Beyonce. Morissette developed her strong singing voice with silky buttery tone just like her influences. She sings in radio stations, local singing contests, in malls, and even front act to some of the famous Filipino celebrities in their mall shows to earn money and gained experience at her early age. At the age of 12, Aman family found out that Morissette had a submandibular tumor. They were alarmed so Morissette eventually undergo a surgery. Young Morissette singing Try It On My Own by Whitney Houston in the mall. Her technique is incredible at her young age. Her voice is naturally powerful, rounded and full. Her diction is also good. The tone of her voice is very warm yet smoky dark. Maybe because of the influence of Beyonce or she incorporates the technique of Whitney Houston. This performance as well as one of her best back those days when she's just starting. After a big conflict in late 2000s, Morissette, her mom, and her brother Jeremy flew to Manila to find opportunities. She joined Talentadong Pinoy in July 2010 but she didn't win the contest. They go back to their province to pursue study until in September 2010, 14-year-old Morissette auditioned on Star Factor TV 5 in Cebu. Morissette became part of the grand finalists in Manila but she didn't win the contest. They go back to Cebu following the deal with the two American record producer. They made an album with Morissette but they never officially release it until in 2020. David Kosako, one of the judges of TV5 Star Factor became Morissette's manager in 2011. Morissette signed a contract in TV5 channel and became one of their artists. Morissette appears on a comedy show copied and awesome as one of the protagonists and she sing the official theme songs of some of TV5 shows. In 2012, Morissette entered the world of theater, she became part of Camp Rock the Musical and casted as Michi Torres which was originally portrayed by Demi Lovato in Disney Movie. In 2013, Morissette joined the first season of The Voice of the Philippines. She became a semi-finalist but she didn't advance in the grand finals. During the heartbreaking phase of her life, Morissette experienced extreme sadness and frustration. She's about to quit singing but her manager saved her from her plan to quit. She debuted in the Philippine noontime show ASAP as a homegrown divas and later become ASAP Beerit Queens. She also signed a contract in ABS-CBN's Star Music in early 2014 and interpret the famous song Akin Kanalang during Himig Handog P-Pop Love Song Competition. After she moved on from her The Voice of the Philippines phase, her manager arranged her an interview with Jessie J during its concert in Manila. After their viral duet, numbers of doors and opportunities opened to Morissette. She had a shows in the Philippines and abroad and debuted her first album entitled Morissette in March 2015. Due to her success in just a span of months, she established a solid fanbase that's why every songs and shows she released is successful. Morissette befriended to Sam Concepcion and later rumored that the two are dating.
In 2016, Morissette collaborated with various Filipino singers for original songs, she even interpreted the song Jamanta for Himig Handog P Pop Love Song Competition 2016 and the song became successful together with her debut album. Moreover, Morissette's rendition of Secret Love Song by Little Mix on the popular moving radio station Wishbus garnered attention both locally and internationally. The video of her performance went viral, amassing millions of views on various social media platforms. This exposure not only propelled Morissette into the spotlight but also introduced her exceptional talent to a wider audience, making her a household name in the music industry. 2016 is also the year when Morissette and Marlo Mortal are rumored dating. Marlo Mortal share in television what's his relationship with Morissette. According to him, he is also confused what's their label. He even asked her as a date in the ball. According to him, they tried everything but he thinks it's not perfect timing since her mom is in a critical condition. One of the most significant achievements of Morissette's career in 2017 was her participation in the Asia Song Festival held in Busan, South Korea. Alongside renowned artists from different Asian countries, she represented the Philippines with her powerful and soulful performances. This is also the year when Morissette tagged as the Asia's Phoenix by media due to her soaring vocals. Her performance of Rise Up Live on Wishbus earned her massive acclaim, further solidifying her status as an international artist. In 2018, Morissette became one of the biggest music sensation in the Philippines, she headlined multiple concerts throughout the year, leaving audiences in awe and generating widespread acclaim from music critics. Her sold-out shows, such as the Morissette is Made Concert Tour, enabled her to connect and engage with her fans on a personal level, creating an unbreakable bond between the artist and her supporters. Along with her sold-out concert tour is the success of her song Akin Khan Alang live performance on Wishbus that gained attention both locally and internationally. The song became one of the most famous OPM song and it was translated to various languages by her foreign supporters. The views of her live performance gained hundreds of millions of views, she had a deal as well in Capitol Records, she represent the Philippines again in Asia Song Festival 2018 where she met various K-pop stars such as the K-pop boy group 17. 2018 is one of the most successful year for Morissette yet one of the saddest following the bad health condition of her due to restlessness shows and vocal issues. There are rumored as well that her manager abused her voice for the sake of money. 2019 was one of the worst year for Morissette yet still blessed due to international collaboration. It can be remembered that her walkout scandal and family issues and separation to her estranged family was in the year 2019 and as well as her collaboration with the international singer Ben Adams. The end of the contract of Morissette in Star Music Records was in 2019 as well where the channel and record label did her dirty and unprioritize her. Morissette has also worked with the legend Michael Bolton for Asian Dream as a co-host and mentor. In 2020, Morissette collaborated with the American singer A.J. Mitchell during its visit in the Philippines as well as the collaboration with the Australian singer, Rick Price. This is also the year when Morissette became the first Hall of Famer of Wish Music Award gaining 37 wins out of 43 nominations in just a span of four years. When pandemic blasted the industry, Morissette did not stop. She utilized her social media to perform to the world virtually. During the lockdown era, she spent her time writing her own songs together with her boyfriend and eventually released an original song entitled Love You Still. It is the lead single track from her EP that they released in 2021. Despite the pandemic, Morissette's career is still shining. She had a multiple international scenes in 2021. She became the most requested and only female artists on MTV Friday livestream by Kevin Kenny and had a chance to perform in One Love Asia and MTV Asia. Following the release of her EP, surprisingly, her signature EP became the most successful album by an OPM artist on iTunes US placing number 30 under all genres without a proper promotion and marketing. In June 28, 2021, Morissette married her boyfriend Dave Lamar but they disclosed it on public on January 2022. Following the disclosure of the wedding, Morissette and her husband released an EP namely From the Sea and they write a lot of songs for Morissette and for the duo. In 2023, Morissette and her husband released an album, If We Never Happened, and had a concert together. Morissette had its first film ever entitled Song of the Fireflies together with the veteran actors from the Philippines but it's still not yet showing in the cinema. She also had the chance to become a CEO of her own music record label which is the underdog music PH. Morissette is self-managing her career since post-pandemic and helping rising local artists to grow in their chosen field. This 2024, Morissette is going to release a full-length album and collaborate with the Australian singer Greg Gould. Morissette is also rumored to collaborate with various artists for her upcoming album. Today, Morissette is living her life to her dreams because she continuously thriving despite many challenges comes to her life as one of the most remarkable singers from the country.